British children now spend on average less time outdoors each day than prisoners. They're climbing walls, not trees, under an hour outside. Screen time has soared and screen time is mostly inside time. Poverty, postcode, ethnicity, risk perception, these all affect children's experience of nature. But they all, in my opinion, need it. I know it's called The Lost Words, but it was only when I sat in a classroom in front of 32 children and um, they didn't know what a wren was. And, um, or a kingfisher. Or... or a kingfisher. But the fact that they would have heard wrens and wrens would have flitted past them. Now, next time a little brown bird goes past, they'll be curious. It's not just children who are forgetting these things. A Wildlife Trust survey from earlier this year found that a third of British adults couldn't identify a barn owl. Three quarters didn't know an ash tree and two thirds felt that they'd lost touch with nature. Yes, a basic literacy of the living world is slipping from us up and down the ages. Why does it matter though? Why do names matter? Why does being able to tell the difference between a starling and a blackbird or between a cherry tree and a hawthorn tree matter? It matters because we're losing nature as well as the names for nature in this country. We've got more than 50% of species in decline. Many of them common. We've got starlings going, skylarks going, we've got newts going, hedgehogs going. And names, good names, well used, help us see and they help us care. We find it hard to love what we cannot give a name to and what we do not love, we will not save. Yeah.